Hello, today we want to take a look at what we've changed on the race profile stats. We've made the uh, information, I think, easier to read and certainly uh, gives you a lot more detail about uh, particular handicapping factors and, and which ones are going to be useful to you uh, when handicapping uh, any race. You'll, uh, <clears throat> you'll notice that these uh, now will appear all in one, one box here. Uh, as be Before we had, we had these factors kind of tabbed out on win, play, show, and things like that. Uh, you still have the winning post as a tab and the winning payouts as a tab. Um, <clears throat> you know, just to refresh you, the winning post show you uh, on this particular race type, which is a six furlong dirt claim, uh, claiming race at Aqueduct, the, the three wins most often based on the last 32 similar races. And the winning payout, it's a, it's a race typically won by favorites, but not, not overwhelmingly so. And on the races tab, you can see all of the uh, individual races that were used to compile these statistics. And you can click on any one of these and go to that particular race. But what we've changed on the factors over here is pretty interesting. Um, kind of, I guess the first thing to wrap your head around is uh, all, all of the factors are displayed here. Uh, starts off alphabetically. Uh, the really important things you can do with these or sort them by win percent, place percent, show accuracy, and ROIs, and, and this new one called Advantage. And we'll get to that in a second. Um, so let's say you, of all these factors, which one is the most predictive uh, at, at finding the winner in this race type? You can sort that just by clicking here on the win, win column. So now we, we see that f the most predictive factor is average speed last three, uh, Forty-four percent of the time, the horse that's ranked on top in that particular factor wins this race, and fifty-three percent of the time, that horse runs at least uh, second, and fifty-nine percent show. The accuracy tab again, that, that's one um, that that's a number that we compute over here, and it looks at how accurate that factor is in getting horses in the correct order. So not just not just having the winner on top, but having you have the winner on top and the second ranked horse in second and the third ranked horse in third and so on. And so the higher the accuracy number is, um, the better that factor is at getting them in the right order, one, two, three, four, five. So you, you the higher that accuracy factor is, the, the it's, you want to use those factors on exactas and trifectas and things like that. The win ROI, this tells you uh, how much you would have made if you would have just bet that top ranked horse in every single race in the data sample and again um, we're looking at 32 race sample here so if you would have made a two dollar win bets on every horse that was ranked on top in average speed less three you would have you would have come out ahead seventeen dollars and seventy cents um, if you would have bet that horse each one of those horses to place you would have lost six ninety and you would have lost fifteen dollars on the show now the advantage that's a new um, stat that we're putting in here and that's really nothing more than the difference between the top ranked horse and the second ranked horse. So if we're looking at average speed last three, and we go over here, and we turn that uh, turn that on, you see that the top ranked horse is the two, second ranked horse is the three, third ranked fourth, and so on. So two, three, four, five, and of course that corresponds down here to two, three, four, five. You'll see up here that the the advantage or the difference between the top ranked horse and the second ranked horse is 4.7 which is you know this one has 100 this one has 95.3 so that's a 4.7 difference and this is important to to look at when you uh, you're trying to find out if a horse is dominant within a factor so th you know th this is kind of a um, you know in playing around with it over the last week or so while we've been developing it it's it's been really um, almost like a new way of handicapping in a lot of diff in a lot of ways um, it, it, it's a way to really get down into the nitty-gritty on a uh, on a race and find out what matters um, and then see if there's advantages there and if it's a profitable angle. So each one of these handicapping factors you have to kind of evaluate on its own merits on how, how well it is at predicting the winner of a race. Um, is it a profitable factor? You know, you, you can certainly look at these numbers and we'll go ahead and sort by win ROI. The highest um, ROI factor is is this dirt pedigree rating. Well, that's kind of odd, now, but the win percentage is only 16%. So what that tells you is you've got a lot of long shots winning this kind of race with the best dirt pedigree. They don't win very often, but when they do, they're going to pay big money. Um, when you start looking at the win percentage and you start getting a higher number, 
but a but a lower ROI. And this would be an example over here is um, average best two of the last three. Pretty good. It predicts 38% winners, uh, but your your ROI or your return would have only been eight dollars and seventy cents. So that's that's pointing out a lot of favorites. You know, obviously the fastest horse in the race is going to be the ones that are going to uh, ultimately get bet. Um, so those are going to have lower prices and lower ROI. So the key here, the trick is, let's let's put all this information together and try to find out, you know, which horses um, to use based on these key advantages within factors. So I think the best place to start. Uh, let me back up a second before I get to that. You can see right now that over here we have this uh, categorized as all. So it's showing you all factors over here. If I just click on the speed, now it's only showing me speed factors. And we kind of had this uh, set up that way before. Um, pace, earnings, trainer jock, pedigree, form, class. So it categorizes them all um, when you click on that. We'll go back to the all tab and what I like to do is I like to look at these factors and start start talking about high win, high ROI, and high win percentage. So we'll sort it that way. Um, the highest one is, as we saw earlier was uh, was dirt pedigree but it's a pretty low win percentage. So maybe not one I want to use right off the bat and trying to find a winner. Um, so we'll go down to the next one, the next highest, which is uh, best speed on a fast track. It's got a very high win percent, 44 percent and a very high ROI. Um, and you can see that there's zero advantage, which means that there's a, a tie between the two and the six. Um, so we'll go ahead and add that to our bet pad and, and you can click on the bet pad that comes up here and we can click this factor and you can see that it gets uh, added up here. So that's a factor you might want to use. Um, you, you know, again, I'm, I'm just kind of going this uh, through this category by category. We'll look at the speed factors. We just kind of picked out one over there, but um, we got best speed, fast track. We'll go down. This is a high, uh, you know, kind of the rule of thumb cutoff I've been using to play around here is I want to see the, uh, the win percentage above 30. And so, you know, this one down here, best speed at the distance, it's positive ROI. Um, and 34% uh, wins, so we'll we'll add that one, and we can go ahead and add average speed last three. It's uh, got a positive ROI and a 44% win rate. And as you get start start getting lower, you know you can see that these things go negative on the ROIs. Um, on pace, we'll we'll take a look at that, and let's see. We've got a couple, we've got one over here that's got a positive ROI and a win percentage of above 30, and that's the E2 pace, average of the last three E2 pace. We could add that. And another thing to, to consider in these pace factors is um, the advantage. So let's look at the high advantage ones here. Uh, the seven, horse number seven over here, it's got an advantage in turn time and uh, average of the last three turn times. But again, these are one of them is not a profitable factor at all, and the other one that is has got a very low win percentage rate. So, not something you want to jump on right away. Um, you could look at, um, you know, earnings. We'll see if there's some. You got a couple of uh, positive ROI factors. One of them here, average lifetime earnings. That's a positive win percentage. You could throw that in the mix. Um, you can go through that one by one and do that. And we'll go back to the All tab here just to kind of uh, give you some other ideas on how to use this. So the Accuracy tab is one that, um, again, that's that's getting the, the horses in the correct order, not just the winner. So anything above a 30 is usually pretty good, but you like to combine it with a positive ROI and a high uh, win percentage rate. So it's going to get them in the right order. Pretty often it's going to have the winner on top, and it's going to return money. The only one that really fits the bill here, um, best speed at the distance, which we've kind of already looked at as a good factor, and then down here, average speed last three, another factor we've already looked at. So it, it, these are very good on accuracy, very good on win percentage, very good on ROI. You know, it, it's, it's looking like the two is uh, the horse to play here in the first at Aqueduct, um, and that's that's certainly what I would uh, strongly consider. Now, again, this is this is outside of making your mixes. If you've made mixes for this race, this is a great way to go back and kind of check. Um, let's say your your mix came up with the the six on top. Um, let me find, yeah, the six, six would be a long shot here. He's a uh, morning line 15 to 1. And if your mix has the six on top, maybe you want to spot check it over here and say, 
let's go back to the all and then uh, we'll sort by horse and you can do that by clicking the, the top four up here which is going to rank it's going to show you all right the one is on top and these two factors which is jockey current year and last e one pace and as you scroll down you see the two is on top and a lot of factors there's another another great way to kind of eyeball the race and so you know in evaluating these horses and, and which factors they're ranked on top in and if you came down if you had that six on top you, you could very easily see here well the, the only factor that he's ranked highest in is distance worked since his last race and that's uh, not such a hot factor as far as uh, ROI or, or, or win percentage and it's it's kind of low so you might want to reevaluate there if uh, your mix ended up with a horse and you've you've come over here and kind of taken a look at it and, and seen that it's lacking in uh, certain abilities um, again this this is a fantastic tool I can't uh, emphasize that enough it's uh, over the last few days has really pointed out a lot of uh, interesting angles and horses that should be uh, used especially in in pick threes and pick fours and things like that if you're looking for contenders to win uh, you can't go wrong looking at win percentage and you know kind of scrolling through these top win percent factors and then looking at the win ROI and the accuracy and certainly at the advantage um, you know you can find horses um, and, and, and the advantage is something we'll, we'll probably get into later um, because it's it's one of those things that in the right situation a horse that has an advantage and a, and a key factor is a horse that you don't want to leave out of any of your bets um, and again you know it looks like most of those are pace related advantage uh, is, is where it really pays off and certainly in speed too if you've got a, a horse that's got a, a very big advantage in a useful factor now this one's got a huge advantage in the best best speed all weather well that's you know we're, we're at uh, aqueduct today and that's not such a important thing on, on a dirt track um, and it's a negative ROI and a low win percentage so you know not a big deal that he's got a big advantage in that uh, the seven has got a very big advantage on the best speed on turf well, again this is a this is a dirt race so not a big deal it's uh, not very predictive it's 22 percent and when you get into um, the, the higher win percent factors you see the two when you're when you're looking at it from a speed perspective the two uh, really dominates in one two three four the, the top six most predictive speed factors factors has the two ranked on top and he's got a, a decent advantage in a couple of those uh, certainly speed last race he's got a big advantage of 8.9 not a high win percent at 28 or a, a ROI but um, he is the fastest horse in the race without a doubt and if you look at the pace situation over here you you again we'll, we'll look at that from rank by win and you can just eyeball this and see that the, the four and the seven um, the two shows up too you want to see that you want to see speed and pace combined um, the two four and seven here look like uh, the horses to, to bet in this race so uh, you know the four showed up here on these this kind of bet pad view and you know you can clear that out and mess around with it as you add factors but uh, this is a tool that I think you're gonna have a lot of feedback on there's you know and just we've worked pretty hard in getting this out and kind of uh, uh, getting ready but you know it's just like everything else once you start playing around with it you, you can probably envision a few things that you might like to add to it and we'd love to hear that from you uh, any ideas you have uh, but I think once you start playing around with it, you'll you'll like it a lot better than what we current or what we previously had out there. It gives you a lot more control. You don't have to flip back and forth as much between those tabs, and you don't have to necessarily click on the uh, individual factor uh, tabs anymore to, to get that kind of information. So, hope you enjoy this, and I hope it leads you to a lot of uh, big tickets. Thanks a lot.